The third Ghana Energy Conference and Supply Chain Expo opened this morning at the Marriott Hotel in Georgetown, with President Afanali telling the conference that his government's priority is ensuring that the economy is fully integrated within our region. It is important for us to understand the role logistics and transport systems and investment will play in the building out of our economy but more importantly, in the integration, the full and complete integration of our economy with CARICOM, South America, DR, and further afield. This is the priority, ensuring the economy is fully integrated within our region. And all the speakers before spoke about the energy potential based on our crude, and based on our gas that is proven. But this potential can only be translated into value if there is a market. And if we can define our market space within the region itself, then it points to very low hanging fruits. But we have to build the infrastructure to facilitate this. The conference is being held under the team fueling transformation and modernization. To this end, Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. Keith Rowley, said the team is befitting of the event's expanded focus to incorporate a wide cross section of industries. He said the global oil and gas sector has been instrumental in providing the energy required for significant developments in the global economy. The Caribbean energy economies, like Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana and Suriname are significant players in this market and will not be irresponsible, nor will we shy away from beneficial opportunities. In the pursuit of energy security and resilience, our region is no stranger to challenges. CARICOM countries on average import an estimated 87% of their oil compared to a global average of 21%. This dependence has left the region vulnerable to energy market volatilities, which take a toll on crucial economic sectors within the region. Collectively, we continue to echo the sentiments of sustained development through the availability of our resources. This availability has been demonstrated by the recent oil and gas findings in Guyana and Suriname. In order to ensure energy security for the region and combat the negative impacts of climate change, it is imperative that we effectively utilize our resources, whether they be hydrocarbon or renewable, through collaborative efforts. Only by working together can we obtain our objectives of fostering productive and resilient economies in what promises to be an increasingly hostile business environment. According to Rowley, key local, regional and international energy players in the conference have grown in strength and stature and have become a must attend. The conference will run for four days.